What's up, guys? I'm gonna do a little video for you today, okay? I was watching uh, The Skinny with uh, Joey Molino. I get a kick out of all this YouTube shit, seriously. Like, it's insanity, it's fucking insane. It, it's like the neighborhood back in the day when people had were hanging out on corners. But anyway, you know what, they have a good podcast. They do, they have a good podcast. And he is a stand-up guy. He didn't flip, he didn't cooperate. So you know why, he's got the edge. But you know, Joey, you're here to make money just like everybody else. That's the reason why you're here. You know, you're a made guy. And uh, you can't talk about things you did in the past like I can, you know, because I cooperated. And uh, there's so much to talk about, I tell you, you know. I've been off of YouTube for almost 18 months, maybe two years. I'm not sure, something like that. But I'm happy I got away from it because I think sometimes you need to step back. But Joey, you made a comment to the guys that cooperated. <clears throat> you said, I could go back to my neighborhood. I'm sure you can go back to your neighborhood, but I bet you any amount of money the majority of the people that used to be in your neighborhood are not there no more. Because I'm on bed there with you right now. And this is my old neighborhood. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a tour of my neighborhood back in the day. And this neighborhood was all time back then. You had the five families everywhere. Which they're still around, but they're not what they used to be. Of course not. Nothing is. But I was just talking to a fellow that I knew from years ago. He was on standing on the corner. He told me, he said, hey, Jimmy, hug me, kiss me. He said, nah, Jimmy, you got the uh, MS-13s here now. You got the uh, Albanians. They got a cafe across the across the street. But let me give you a quick tour of my neighbor, okay? Give me five minutes. Check it out. What's up, guys? Haven't been around. This is Beth Avenue. Check it out. So I'm on Beth Avenue right now. I'm going to give you a quick tour. Okay. None of this used to be. Across the street, right there, this spot right here, that's a Muslim halal meat store now. That used to be Deja Vu. That used to be uh, Robert Blasco's place. Okay, next door was Fat Sal's. It's not there no more. Now it's a Mexican spot. Across the street, you got Cafe Venetia, okay? That's not there no more. Uh, the barber shop that used to be there. Nick's Candy Store's not there. Sparrow Social Club, uh, now it's a money transfer place. So, this whole neighborhood has changed drastically. And I'm going back, I'm 54 now. Say I go back 40 years, 14 years old, okay? Fifth Avenue, Bay 16. Patsy's hair salon over there. This neighborhood has changed drastically. But looking back in this neighborhood, I tell you, it was a great neighborhood, I tell you that. Sure, it was a wild neighborhood across the street down the block where me and Fabrizio were. This is the corner. When I came home in 1998, I saw Joe Benanti on this corner right here. I pulled up with John Padone. I jumped out of the car. I said, Joe, how you feeling? He hugged me and kissed me. He said, Jimmy, what do you mean, how, you, how am I feeling? I said, Joe, how you feeling? He said, what do you mean, about you? I said, yeah, Joe, how do you feel about me? He said, Jimmy, I've been rooting for you guys since you were kids, you know? And then all of a sudden he started walking away. So, you know, listen. Lots of stories to tell, lots of moments in this neighborhood. But uh, this used to be over here. This used to be Alfredo Temperino spot right here. Right here. This was Alfredo Temperino spot called Leonardo. This was a club with uh, Joey Vassaloni. He opened it up. Leonardo was uh, Joey Vassaloni's brother, Lenny. He passed away. Okay, they were my next door neighbors. The Temperinos, they ain't here no more, all gone. This neighborhood uh, has a lot of uh, legends to it, you know? Across the street, right in front of 
this Hala meat store used to be Deja Vu. That's where I seen uh, Pat and Alby. Alby. He hit the guy over the head with a bottle. The guy was just walking, minding his own business. I was just ran up to him, hit him over the head with the bottle, boom, and then start beating him up. Yeah, a lot of stories over here. A lot of memories over here. Bad Day Avenue, Bay 17th over there. We used to sell pot over there, me and my friends, just to hang out every day. How things changed. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bad Avenue, not what it used to be. But to everyone out there, I'm making a return. I'm going to come back with a podcast with a co-host. Check it out. We're going to have some fun with it. It's not going to be about mob stuff. It's going to be about things in general, life, raising kids, doing a 360, changing your life, helping other people, uh, working, just life in general, losing people, you know, that we're all going through, we're all struggling. We're all just trying to survive to get by, right? That's all we're doing. But anyway, guys, I love you. Listen, enjoy yourself. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.